This episode brought to you by MeepleRealty.com, your source for high-quality custom board game inserts. Meeple Realty, think inside the box. Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have our top three in three most played games of August is where we do a top three in three minutes or less, and that three minutes is going to start right now now so our number three and number two game we've got a two-way tie for uh with three plays each uh first we'll talk about the game of 49 now this game is basically i would say very low quality components compared to the games i normally like to play it's got paper money it's got these little plastic chips that are kind of cool looking but they're very very old school they remind me of some you know a crappy poker chips that I used to play with when I was a kid that was in like a cabin that you know I don't know that my family owned or something I don't even remember where this place was but I remember these little almost translucent poker chips that I would play with and the board itself is good quality and basically you're just trying to get four in a row but it's so engaging and so much fun and the more people you have the better it gets this game has turned out to be a lot of fun that's the game of 49 with three plays, spent about two hours playing that game. Number two, Secret Hitler, also with three plays. I believe this showed up on my list last month, about an hour and a half playing this game in August. And this is another one where I played, I still don't own this game, but I went to my same game group as the last time that I played it, into the night. They broke it out and we knocked out three games real fast. I'm in you know, an hour and a half, so that's what, about 30, 30, 30 minutes. Thank you, math. 30 minutes of play. This game is basically you take a social deduction game, but something about the way the game plays and the, 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 the way you have to guess who is the fascist and who is the liberals. You're passing the liberal laws or the fascist laws and the amount of deception that goes on in this game is intense. And actually after the third play, we called that we could play another round as far as time goes, but it was one of the most heated rounds of Secret Hitler we've ever played. This game is a lot of fun. Check it out if you haven't yet. And finally, running out of time here, Magic Maze with, I kid you not, 17 plays of Magic Maze. Spent an hour and a half playing this game. Got 17 plays of it in. I picked this game up completely on one. This game was not even on my wish list. And my wife and I were in Barnes & Noble. We saw it, took a look at the back of it. You know, I'd heard about it and thought it might be a really good family game, maybe, but it just, some, the real-time aspect of it really had me kind of, oh, I don't know, and then you can't talk either, and so I just didn't want to do it, but then when, the, when we looked at it, we thought, hey, you know what, let's get it, let's see what our kid, what, what the oldest thinks, the youngest is still too young to play, and we really liked it a lot. And on top of that, one of my gamer buddies that I play games with all the time came over and we were going to play like Mage Knight or something, but I was like, hey, let's let's play a game or two of Magic Maze first. And we sat down and we knocked out like 12 games of Magic Maze. So I played about five with the family and 12 with my buddy in one night and it is just so much fun. Magic Maze with 17 plays, number one in August. Okay, so there you have it. That is my top three most played games in August of 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.